Hi, I'm Pamela Turner. I'm a physical therapist and Polestar Pilates educator from Steamboat Springs, Colorado. And I wanted to speak to you a little bit about uh, one of the principles that we teach in the Polestar curriculum. And it's related to head, neck, and shoulder alignment and organization. Um, you know, what, what is that exactly? Um, it's how we carry ourselves throughout the day, how we are sitting at our desks, how we're standing, how we're holding our head, neck, and shoulders um, as we lift things and cook and do our activities of daily living. So some of the things that we notice that cause um, people pain, headaches, shoulder problems, um, you know, limitations and the ability to breathe fully are the, the ways that we're holding ourselves throughout the day. So we want to avoid things like with the shoulders coming to round forward, things that happen when we sit at a computer for way too long during the day, making sure you take breaks. And then also the, the, the things that our parents may have told us to stand up tall and pull our shoulder blades back and sit really tall. This also causes a lot of tension in the shoulders, so we don't really want to do this either. So if we can, we want to find a neutral position in the body. So both the, the rib cage, so that it's not rounded, it's not lifted up and arched, but somewhere sort of in the middle. You can play with that, maybe sitting at your desk or at a chair. And then also allowing your shoulders to round forward slightly, becoming aware of them and opening up the shoulders and then rounding them again, and then gently arching the shoulders and finding that gentle, neutral place in the spine and in the shoulder girdle. And then once you're here, you stack your head right on top, and a little trick of the trade, whether you have a, a flat surface or not, you can pretend that there's one there if you don't have one, is to, with that nice alignment, slide your fingers out on the mat and feel in that nice width of your shoulders and just keep going out as far as you possibly can go, like you're trying to touch each side of the wall. And once you get to that point, you can't go any further. Just feel that for just one more moment and let the arms gently float up and feel the width of the shoulders, both front and back, very nice and wide, almost as if you could have an equal smile between your shoulder blades as well as between the collarbones in the front. And so once you're here and you feel that width, your head's right on top and balanced, chin is level with the floor, then just let your arms gently float down and feel that nice length in your spine. Noticing the width of your shoulders and the ease in movement. So now I can move my head freely. I can look around the world and see things. And in this place, we want to live throughout our day. We want to find this during our days on the computer, when we're walking around, when we're doing things in the kitchen, whatever you may be doing. So hopefully that's a little bit of information for you. If you'd like to learn more about it, please visit us at polestarpilates.com. Thanks for watching.